Hello and welcome to episode 16 of the Alex Nunemaker Mortgage Podcast for the week of September 26, 2022. In market news, it's all about last week's Federal Reserve meeting, which was a high-impact event, not just for mortgage rates, but for all markets, as the Fed backed off on a lot of its earlier projections on where they see inflation ending at the end of the year, um, unemployment expectations, and for the amount of interest rate hikes that they're going to need to do in order to get this under control. The overall tone from the press conference, that's what led markets to react the way they did. Um, They have less and less confidence that the Fed knows how this is going to end up. Why is that? Because Jerome Powell literally said, we don't know with any degree of certainty what the economy is going to look like in a year. So uh, rather than portraying um, a tone of confidence, they are now starting to show some cracks. And up until this point, the market has put so much stock into their projections for getting inflation under control. This change in tone has led the market to say, well, now it's put up or shut up time. If you don't know what's going to be, we're going to stop putting so much stock in your projections. Now we want to see actual inflation readings showing inflation going down. Um, So in the meantime, uh, in the short term, expect huge fluctuations. We've already seen this. To put this in perspective, on Monday, the bond market lost 155 basis points. That's huge. That was the single biggest down day since March of 2020 when the pandemic first hit. But the bond market has been rallying uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday to call back some of these losses. So where this is going to end up and what a a client is going to be a lock in literally does matter uh, down to the hour that they are getting a quote. So how do we fight all this rate uncertainty? It's all about education. One, we know that rates are going to go down when rate hikes really start to bite and then we see inflation start to go down. Also, in the short term, there are solutions that we can offer for borrowers who are worried about rates, whether that's temporary buy downs, portfolio products, and other options that will help ease that pain. Next up is the marketing corner. In the marketing corner, I wanted to pass on a tip I shared with one of my realtor partners. This is a common concern I hear from realtors. Uh, They'll say, I just don't have enough time to do video marketing consistently. And that's understandable. We have our time pulled into a lot of different directions, not just a lot of different directions, but at unpredictable times. You might have a house pop up on a Thursday. You need to go to a showing unexpectedly or an appraisal that you got to address. Uh, again, unexpectedly one afternoon. And these time bombs can uh, completely derail the best laid plans. So how do we make sure that we are making time that we can consistently utilize video in our marketing? I have three tips to pass on to you. One, write out a video plan. Obviously, there's always going to be those spur of the moment videos where you might want to weigh in on something that is a current event. But for the most part, you can pre-plan a lot of the topics you want to talk about. My challenge to most people is sit down and write 25 to 30 topics that you'd like to cover. Don't think big, huge topics that are going to take a lot of time to cover, but short micro topics. This leads me to my second tip, which is keep it short. You don't need five minute long videos. And furthermore, if you make them that long, no one's going to watch them. People want short videos, which makes writing out 30 topics really easy. Instead of having one big topic, take that big topic and break it down into five smaller topics. If you can get it under 15 seconds, that's uh, perfect. Finally, third, film your videos in batches. By keeping your video short, If you can carve out two hours, you can easily knock out 15 to 20 short videos. And then guess what? You have two months of content created, in the bag, ready to be shared. Once you have the content, it's really easy to share because you don't have to break out the camera every single time you want to do a video. So it really helps save on time. You can shoot them at the same time, you can edit at the same time, and then you can uh, share those videos very quickly. Finally, our quote of the week is consistency is more important than perfection. We can all be consistent, but perfection is impossible. Have a great week. And if I can help you or any of your clients with any questions or pre-approvals, let me know. They can visit me at homeloanswithalex.com. Have a great week.